Hi, this video introduces Creo software, an AI power takeoff and estimating solution designed for quantity surveyors, estimators, and contractors. As a cloud based application, Creo is accessible through any browser requiring no downloads or installations. Creo has earned the trust and recognition of both small firms and large corporations by providing advanced solutions rooted in deep expertise and innovations. Key benefits of Creo include uh, quick and accurate extraction of quantities from construction drawings using AI, as well as creation of detailed documents such as estimates, cost plans, bills of quantities, and proposals. There are several trades a Creo is perfectly suited for. For example, concrete, drywall, flooring, insulation, landscaping, masonry, mechanical, plumbing, uh, painting, roofing, structural steel, and many more. And now let's start with the main page. The project's homepage is the first page you encounter at the beginning of the trial. This is the main page for creating and organizing projects as well as for administration. Let's look at the main elements of this page. The primary element related to account management is located in the top right corner. From the drop-down menu that appears, you can select the section you need the account section for basic account settings or billing for managing your subscription and payments. There you can also log out of your account and switch to innate mode. The primary element for managing the company is located in the top left corner. Here you will see the company's logo and by clicking on it you will be taken to its settings. You can change your company's name, add or remove users and guests. You can also manage the company specifically by adding and removing users and guests by clicking the Invite Members button on the top panel. Note that guests can only view projects but cannot make any changes or create their own projects. They are free viewers with limited access. Users added to the company, on the other hand, are not limited to just viewing projects. They have the capability to fully engage and work on them. And in the central part of the screen, you will find the project area. Uh, once you add your projects, they will appear here. Additionally, this area includes project folders to help organize your work. To add a project, click on the Create Project button or the plus icon next to Projects. In the pop-up menu, you can upload your files, name your project, invite colleagues to join, or share the project with the entire company. To add a folder, click the plus icon next to folders and enter the name for the new folder. And once you've created your project, you can manage it directly from this page by clicking the project menu, three dots. This menu offers key actions such as share, move to, and save as template, among others. On the left side of the screen, you can see templates for projects tab. Templates in Creo structure data and ensure project's consistency. They can be created from scratch or based on an existing project. Templates are, are really easy to update, support collaboration, and integrate with reports. And the next step you see on the screen is Assembly Database tab. The main purpose of the database is to store all the necessary information to obtain a required report. For example, formulas for calculating geometric dimensions, scope of work and amount of materials, rates, coefficients, benchmarking data, classification codes, structure, physical and technical properties of objects, and many more. And which is more important, the connection of all these parameters between each other. The assembly database contains three tabs, properties, items, and assemblies. These tabs serve as different levels that allow you to link simpler entities into complete objects. The Properties tab contains detailed information about various attributes and characteristics of the objects. The Items tab includes individual components or elements that make up the assemblies. And finally, the Assemblies tab integrates these items into cohesive units or structures. And the last element on the right side of the screen is the Demo Projects tab. Demo projects are template projects for various trays that include essential measurement groups and rough reports. These templates provide a starting point for your work offering predefined structures and examples to help streamline your project setup. And finally, 
In the bottom right corner of the screen, you'll find a chat feature for addressing your questions and resolving issues. It includes several tabs where you can access links to popular articles and the help center, and you can also ask questions directly to a support specialist. Please use this chat if you need any assistance from our side. And now let's move to the project page. Uh, so the project page layout consists of four main parts. Drawing area is located in the center. This is where your project drawings are displayed. Measurements manager is positioned on the left. This section allows you to organize and manage your measurements. Functional panel is on the right side. There you will find various Creo features, project settings, and options to set and edit measurement parameters. At the bottom, there is a report area that is currently hidden since no report have been generated yet. And at the very top, there are three tabs, project, plans, and assemblies. These tabs enable you to quickly switch between the current project, the file manager, and the assembly database. And let's discuss the file manager first. Click the magnify icon to quickly view all pages of the project. Simply click on relevant page to open it. The long bar displays the active pages you're currently working on. To gain full access to file management, click the plus button in the quick access panel. From the pop-up menu, you can do a lot of things. You can upload new files, create folders, select and rename pages, and much more. And before you begin working on your drawings, you will need to set a scale for them. An AI-suggested scale will be displayed, which you can apply by simply clicking Apply button. Alternatively, you can go to the Scale tab in the menu on the right side of the screen and scale or calibrate manually. and be sure to select the appropriate measurement system, imperial or metric. And now let's move to the area where all your measurements will be displayed and organized, the measurements manager. In the measurements manager, you can create groups for your measurements, filter them by various parameters and manage each individual measurement. And now let's move to the most crucial part of getting familiar with Creo, the measurement tools. Creo offer both manual and AI tools. Let's begin with the manual tools. For creating polygons, there are several options. Polygon, two-point rectangle, three-point rectangle, and wand. By using these tools, you can manually create a polygon measurement on your drawing by setting a number of points. The manual tools for linear measurements are polyline and wand. You can create a polyline of any length by putting the desired number of points. The manual counting tool is positioned to the right on the same panel. With the count tool, you can manually place each counting point. And now let's move to the most exciting part, the AI tools. First, we'll look at the most popular and widely used tool among others, one-click area. This tool can instantly measure any areas or objects on drawings with just a single click. One-click area is very easy to use. The measurement can be based on one or several points. If you're not satisfied with the result, simply add extra points to capture a larger area or place a second point within the area you want to exclude. The AI tool for counting elements in a drawing is called AutoCount. To use it, select AutoCount and then choose the element you want to count. For the best results, make sure to select the element as precisely as possible to minimize interference from surrounding geometry. And once the counting is complete, you can adjust the similarity percentage manually to refine the accuracy of your results. And the next one is Auto Measure. 
Auto Measure is an AI powered feature that quickly identifies and categorizes the main areas and elements in your drawings within minutes of launching the tool. Auto Measure can recognize most elements in your drawings, classify them into relevant groups, for example, walls, doors, stairs, living rooms, bedrooms, and automatically determine the measurement values for each. Simply validate the results and make adjustments if needed. And now I need all your attention. Please keep in mind that Auto Measure is compatible only with architectural floor plans, especially residential ones. It should not be used with structural plans, as the results may be messy and incorrect. We don't want you to be unsatisfied with the results, so please keep it in mind and use a different tool, for example, one-click area, for structural drawings. And the last and the newest AI tool is Auto Measure 2.0. Auto Measure 2.0 lets you find exactly what you're looking for by typing in the name of the element or the area you want to measure. Simply use the prompts or manually enter the name of the area and the tool will launch automatically. If you are not satisfied with the result, you can adjust AI confidence manually or click on the one of the aerial elements measured and click on fix it with AI. You can also generate project reports directly within Creo. Simply click on Create Report in the bottom left corner and choose the type of the report you need. Spreadsheet page is a blank report page where you can set up any kind of structure you need in a manual way or use our options to automatically move your measurements to the spreadsheet in the view you need. You can also export spreadsheet page as an Excel file. The next type of report is Items Report. It's one of the two grid reports offered by Creo. It includes assemblies items that were applied to measurements. This type of report is ideal if you need detailed information based on your items and assemblies, providing a comprehensive overview of the components used in your project. And finally, the Takeoffs Report automatically collects and groups all the measurements created on a specific drawing. There are numerous ways to organize and filter your grid reports for improved clarity and usability. Also, in Creo, you can export files as Excel and PDF. To download an Excel file, click on three dots in the bottom report panel and select Export as an Excel file. To export file in PDF, go to the Export menu, set the parameters you need, and then save your drawing in PDF. Before the Export tab, it is recommended to set some parameters, for example, black and white, night mode, show dimensions, in settings, drawings, so that the saved file looks the way you want. You can also turn your current project into a template to use it with any future projects. That is pretty much it for the video. Thank you for watching this introduction to Creo software. We hope that you now have a better understanding of how Creo can streamline your tasks with its powerful AI tools. If you have any questions or need any further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach our support team. Thank you.